going to work on a very complex swing to show you how exactly uh, the pros get such high racket head speed. And I think the misconception is that it's a forced movement, and it really isn't at all. It's kind of like getting um, a whipping motion where you're using the potential energy of the of the slinging motion. So if I, um, like a pitcher is going to cock their wrist back, they feel, or their, their elbow back, they feel tension here, and they're going to release that tension. So it's not a forced motion, they're just releasing tension. All right, so to do that, you got to relax a lot more than you think. All right, so one thing that a, a common... Um, a swing, a common forehand, we're just going to talk about the forehand right here, is that our racket head is actually, um, we take our racket head back to swing. You know, take our racket head back, take our racket head back. It's actually not true when the pros do it. The pros actually take the racket head where they move their hand forward and the racket head naturally goes, um, stays there so it's back. So instead of me doing, now watch, instead of me, if I'm going to hit straight ahead this way, instead of me um, taking my wrist, look at my hand is even with the camera, even with you guys. So I'm doing this, right? When I do that, that creates um, some tension because I had to force that over. What the pros do is they just move their fist forward. Notice the difference? I move my fist forward. The rack ahead stayed in line. So let's watch that again. The rack ahead stayed in line with you and I just move my fist back, uh, forward. So my swing looks like this. If I'm gonna swing forward, I'm gonna move my fist forward, drop my rack ahead, because it's already relaxed, and then swing up to the ball, okay? So what's happening is what we do is a lot of, what a lot of players do is they bring their wrist back like this, and then they force the motion over. They force the motion over. Notice that my fist hasn't moved, right? Instead, that's not how it works. You bring your rack ahead even with the camera and you're just laying it there. So the racket head stays there. I let it drop. I'm just relaxing. And then I can swing that forward. So it's a really fast motion. I'll go a little faster now. So I'm bringing my fist, I'm bringing my, my arm forward and my racket head doesn't move really. I mean, it does change direction pointing, but it doesn't literally move like this, right? So I'm just letting that racket relax and sling forward. So notice as I as I go forward with my fists, I'm relaxing, my racket naturally drops. That allows my top spin to hit over the ball. So I'm relaxing and then I'm just bringing my fists up and letting the racket swing over the ball. So it's a very whipping type of motion that we that you have to appreciate because it's not a, a, a muscle thing. It's not like a strong muscle thing. It's It's a quick, reaction to the ball it's very fast so you're gonna to have to look at some um, slow motion Roger Federer or you know any of your favorite players their motions and, and, and watch their forehand but all of them start so I'm gonna kind of do it all together now the racket head is here and notice my arm is up for a shoulder turn but that's not the important part the important parts here they don't bring the racket back behind them they because that creates a C a C swing and then most of the momentum is not going forward, right? So they keep it right next to them, okay? So now I'm here, they drop the rack ahead to the side of them, I'm hitting straight ahead. My fist goes forward, my rack ahead now um, is laid back and allows me to swing in front, okay? So again, I'm here, I drop, and then I relax as my fist goes forward and I swing up to the ball. So we'll do a couple of those, so I drop, I relax, I swing up to the ball. So this is where this is where the position needs to be in your swing. You need to get to this position. But how you get to that position is very important. If you're getting to that position by forcing it over, now you have tension in your wrist and you're forcing it and it's gonna put a lot of, um, you won't get as much of a whipping motion, you're gonna put strain on your wrist. It's really tough. So how you get to this motion is very important. Like I said in the beginning of the video, you gotta bring your arm forward, Your your wrists and your fists forward and just let that naturally stay back and then whip forward. So it's a very quick motion when I do this.
all right? So when you can get that rack ahead speed, it allows you to have a higher range of motion because I don't have to be in perfect position to hit a ball. You know, you watch some guys on the run, they're hitting the ball really hard. Well, it's because they can get this motion going, right? If I'm going towards you and I'm here and I can't get my body weight to go forward, I can still whip through the ball um, pretty quickly. So think about that when you're doing this, okay? Watch some more video and you'll appreciate why these, these guys and these, the, the women can swing so fast and yet they're not like built very strong. I mean, they're not, they're strong, but they're not bodybuilders, right? So it's all about getting that rack ahead and relaxing as you go to get uh, more rack ahead speed and then therefore more control because you're spinning the ball. So give it a shot and good luck. All right, so what I mean by this is looking at Roger Federer's forehand, watch his fists he goes forward right now. He did not bring his wrist back or to bring the rack ahead back. The rack ahead just naturally laid back because he brought his fist back or forward with relaxed tension. So watch. He does, or just being relaxed without tension. He brings, it, he brings it out and notice the fist goes forward and the racket trails behind him. This relieves tension, increases rack ahead speed and allows you to put a lot of pace on the ball without putting a lot of tension on your shot. So give it a shot and hopefully that helps. And don't forget to subscribe to more blogs that go over strategies and tips to improve your tennis game. Good luck.